Hello and thanks for taking the time to listen to this week's community update as of the 28th of May 2020. I'm Desmond Zammett, the very proud principal of Gorican Public School. I'm pleased to report that the students have adjusted well to being back at school and have really enjoyed being reunited with their teachers and their friends. I'm also really impressed by their personal hygiene efforts and how well they've adjusted to the new playground and home time routines. Home time pickup is getting better and better each day and I would encourage you all to continue your efforts with this. You're doing an amazing job and I'd also encourage you to be mindful of social distancing when waiting for your children outside of the school gates. The kiss and drop zone should be utilised wherever possible as this really is the safest and most efficient way to drop and collect your kids to school and from school each day. I know that this is new to many of you, but I would really urge you to try it. If the zone is full, just drive around the block. The staff will be there supervising the students until they are picked up. Please don't park in the bus zone, as this is illegal and extremely unsafe for you and the students. And remember to talk to your kids each morning about the afternoon pickup arrangements so that they are well aware of where they're supposed to be in the afternoons. The options are, number one, kiss and drop. Number two, parent pickup, with parents waiting either along Dudley Street fence line or at the back of the school. Number three, students walk or ride home. Number four, bus lines. And the last option is the after school care. Our awesome teachers organise the students into these lines before the students are brought out to the gates. K-2 students and their siblings will exit the school at 2.30, as mentioned in my previous update, and students in 3-6, to six, or students who are in K-2, whose parents can't make the earlier time, at, are picked up at 3 o'clock. The second part of this update will focus on the simplified student reports that will be sent home by the end of term. These reports will not be in the form or detail that you're used to. The achievement scale will not be applied in these reports due to the disruption to regular schooling caused by the pandemic. As we are well aware of the potential stress and anxiety your children may be experiencing with them returning to school, we will take a kind approach by minimising assessment procedures as they attend full-time school. Instead, we will be putting our energy into re-establishing relationships and routines while delivering high quality face-to-face -face learning experiences. With that said, I must reassure you that the quality of our flexible learning program has served the students well over the past nine weeks and that if followed, the students will be in a good place with their learning. As parents have contributed significantly in supporting learning from home, we have provided you with an opportunity to contribute towards this semester's report. A text was sent out to parents and carers inviting you to take part in a very short survey requiring a yes or no response to a handful of simple questions about your child's learning from home experience. The information that you provide will be imported into the final report. You will also have the opportunity to sign the report as a co-contributor this time around. We have made these adjustments to acknowledge our appreciation of your efforts and our partnership in learning during these unprecedented times. Next week, the school newsletter will resume and therefore this will be the last community update for now. It's been an absolute pleasure to present information to you in this form and it's been a great way to diversify our communications over the past months and I sincerely thank you for your continued support and encouragement. We really do have a great school, made even greater by our incredible school community. Together, we are making a difference.